guys we did it we did it we did it got the takedown tonight on FanDuel that's hard to do on a Sunday man Sundays are always kind of jacked up but uh yeah guys take down let's go DFS club what's going on guys how you doing I'm Gabriel Skywalker welcome 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 if you are new please hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave me a comment down below um i still got to catch up to the comments but crazy crazy weekends man we're playing every sport in here ufc last night in DraftKings got second um today takedown and uh nba then nfl all three of my DraftKings lines cash one close to a thousand on DraftKings. two out of three of my FanDuel cash what a weekend what a weekend if you guys aren't a member of the club what in the world schroeder so ask him say what in the world is going on? We're, 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 we're giving away fire in here, huh? What do you think? He says, yeah, I don't like those glasses. Well, I don't have my contacts in, so I got to... I'm blind. I'm old. I'm blind. I got to see, so... Sorry, guys. I got to wear these damn things. I hate wearing them, but... uh, And if you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, you know what time it is, man. It's time to start the fucking show. Woo! Yeah, guess who? Guess who's not taking the fucking bus? The DFS club is not taking the fucking bus, especially after this weekend, man. Um, also down below, there's a super thanks option. Um, what I tell you, NFL video guys, I told you, play those Eagles. Play the Eagle stack. Eagle stack won me a lot of money today, man. Um, down below is the super thanks. If you want to throw a couple dollars in the tip jar for Schroeder and I, um, goes towards the fancy feast and the and the channel. And uh, yeah, it just goes a long way. Thank you guys so much that I've been doing it. You get your special shout out in the next video, too. You get your time to shine. And it, yeah, it's very, it just... I'm humbled every day because you guys keep doing it. I get, I got to check my phone here because I just got a nice uh, super thanks um, via cash app from uh, Julio today and some others too. Um, let me bring up cash app, but let me show you guys uh, YouTube super thanks is. We got Jan, my dude, $2 super thanks. Thank you so much, Jan. Hopefully you played that, uh, that, um, my NBA lines tonight on FanDuel. Hopefully you got that bread too. It's still earlier in after the slate stop. So still people are still posting. Lots of people took down tonight. So um, hopefully you're one of them, Jan. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. And again, thank you so much for that $10 super thanks yesterday. Like you spoil us. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Dave Barton, Big Dave with his $2 super thanks. Thank you so much, Big Dave, man. God bless you. You're a real one. And um, I know uh, there's a story about Big Dave I'll tell one day. Him and I had a, had a talk one day uh, about what he was doing, what he does for a living and all that good stuff. But uh, shout out to Big Dave, man. God bless you. Thank you so much. And we got we to gotta, we gotta shout out real quick. Um, Cash App. So Anthony D'Angelo, $2 super thanks. That's catcher AD, by the way. Who normally he was donating on the on the YouTube videos, but sends it to my cash shop. That way, I get all of it. And YouTube don't take half of it. Um, but yeah, gave me two two dollars super thankses. Thank you so much, catcher, aka Anthony D'Angelo. You are the fucking man. Woo! Styling and profiling, man. Thank you so much. And again, Julio, thank you so much for the twenty five dollars super thanks. Glad you played my lines. Glad you won some money this weekend. Um, we wanted an everything, man. It was just a great weekend. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, let's let's take a look. So I'll show you real quick. And the Black Friday deals are only up, guys, for nine more hours. It's tick talking away. Tick not tick tock like the damn app, but it's just. Doo, doo, doo. So let me show you guys. This was just today. 
Um, so let's scroll up. So we'll start with the NFL, guys. So FanDuel, two out of three, cashed. And then uh, DK, one close to a G. Very nice. Very nice. I don't fuck around on, on DK when it comes to the... Uh, I don't know. I'm more of a DK guy. Like, I play both. Don't get me wrong. I play both, but I just play a lot bigger in DraftKings. It just, it seems to be easier to cash over there, honestly. 153 here with the Trevor Lawrence stack. Um, Got a 156 here with the with the Mike White stack. Nick Chubb, man. What a... Oh, my goodness. That Cleveland team. Then the Eagles stack is one won me the big money, guys. 165.90. Yeah, I know I have a cracked phone, but uh, it's a throwaway phone, guys. That's all it is. It ain't my main phone. And then here it is, guys. NBA takedown. $100 winner. $392 on FanDuel. Edged it out here. But who's at the top of the mountain with that beautiful DFS Club logo there? Get this, bread. You guys see me on FanDuel? That's me. So nice takedown tonight. I'll take it, man, on a Sunday. Shit. Dra and... One out of three cash on DraftKings, guys. Got a 284. Kevin Love, man, really pissed me off tonight. I thought he was going to get some extra minutes and smash. But, uh, yeah, man. I did. I took down without AD, by the way. Without AD. So, Buddy Heald, I had at 1%. And Buddy Heald fucking smashed. 43. Um, Zach Levine was chalk at 60. And he got a 63. Jalen Brown was lower on, though, at a 67. So, yeah, guys, let's look at the Hall of Fame because family also cash, man. And they made their they made their personal lines too. Like my man Gary Clint here. He made his own line. He got a 382. Lefty's a DFS club member. Use my line, got a 392. Um, but still good job, man. Making your own lineups, listening to the NBA podcast that Space and I do. We Space and I do a members only podcast one hour before lock. When all the news comes in, Schroeder's hanging out. Um, and that's when we build, man. So yeah, good job. Good job, bro. Um, we got more. We got Kill Bill with a takedown tonight with a 381. And his contest won $1,037.50. He didn't even need my lineup. Shit. He took it down with his. That's what's up. Kill Bill. Two hundred dollars came in eighth there. And then uh a hundred dollars came in eleventh there. Very nice. And hard hitter used my NFL lines, guys. Won seven hundred and fifty dollars on this one with a, with that eagle stack I was telling you about. I think we split it. Hard hitter. I think we split. <laughs> I think we split everything, man. Uh, Three hundred dollar winner here, and then uh, a sixty dollar winner there with the Herbert stack. I didn't. Those are his lines. Those aren't mine. Um, I didn't play Herbert stack, but I did play the eagle stack, baby. That's what's up. Uh, Dazillion took down two in NBA tonight, guys. He took it took it all down. LT uh came close, but LT uh won almost two thousand dollars tonight. Entered 180. LT's a shark, man. He's one of the he's one of the best sharks in the business. And uh he comes in, he helps out, uh dropping some core plays, dropping in on the podcast. So shout out to LT, man. Almost winning two G's. And then yeah, Dazillion. Came in second in this contest. A showdown, 139 bones. And then six in this one, 150. Um, came in 20th here, won 100 bucks with a 320. And then came in first here and won 175 on a showdown. The zillion, man. Came in first here with a 320, won $460. Julio used my FanDuel lines, won $380. L Scientist. Came in fifth in his contest with a 339. That's a nice score, man. $200 winner. And that's me right there after the celebration. Those are my Ric Flair. <laughs> my Ric Flair gifts, man. Love it. Love it. Love it. I already showed you guys mine. Vaughn. Um, got a 329. Won five bucks. I can go all night. I can go all night. Get me an AB. Won a thousand dollars tonight on NFL. A G. With a 185, guys. That's a very high score. TGG for life, my dude. Came in eighth, won $20. He had a takedown the other night. He he uh 
DM me with it. Um, TG for life, I'll find it, bro. But good job on this. This college basketball here, man. We play every sport, guys. We're playing fucking everything. World Cup. Hingo with a takedown in World Cup. $15 there. We play underdog, guys. Like, it's crazy, man. The amount of money we won this weekend between the UFC second place and then the, the um, NFL big wins. I mean, hundred bucks on Fanduel, whatever. That's just gonna. That's just. I'm gonna keep that in there. You know, I don't play. Like I said, Fanduel, I play a lot lighter than uh, DraftKings. It's just I would, until MLB season comes, then I ain't fucking around, guys. If you want to come join the club, check it out. Come check out the website. Go to dfsclub.com. It is very easy, guys. We got over 800 members. We got DFS space. Myself, Skywalker DFS. We break down the slates, guys. One hour before lock, we do the members only podcast exclusively to the Discord, to the family. That's it. Not on YouTube, nowhere. You get every single sport. And here's the ticker we're down to eight hours, eight hours, 20 minutes to take advantage, guys. We're nine bucks a month. That's it. Nine dollars a month. You get all my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks. And if you think it's just a fluke two days in a row now, look at the look at the slideshow. Of all the big winners we've had lately, you guys. Click join now. We have more big winners on here than the guys charging 200 bucks a month. Click join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. So Schroeder and I get credit. And then pick your plans, guys. Like I said, right now for nine more hours, we're nine bucks a month. 49 for six, 99 for a full fucking year, guys. That's every single sport. You get prize picks too, underdog, sports wagering, you name it. And I'm going to say it. You want to start wearing diamond rings, riding in limousine, riding, jet flying, wheeling, dealing, kiss stealing, son of a gun, staying in the highest buildings, in the biggest suites, kissing all the girls and making them cry. I'm talking, you're looking to hear 170 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. Come join the DFS club. Come get this confidence, guys. Get out of poverty. Come be rich. Come be rich like us. Wearing Armani suits. Having Bengal cats right here like Schroeder. These glasses, I don't even need to wear them. These are $50,000 glasses. I don't even need these. I just wear them just just to wear them. (laughs) DFSclub.com, guys. Only nine bucks a month. Nine hours left. Take full advantage, guys. Full advantage. All right. Let's get into the picks because that's why you're here. All right. So let's go. I have 21 watch players for you guys today. Um, so we'll start off with Boston. So if Marcus Smart's out again, um, you got Derek White at 4.9K. Firmly in play. He played 21 minutes. Kind of surprising. But I predicted it in the podcast. I predicted this in the Members Only podcast with Brogdon because I said last year when Brogdon was with Indy, he was playing 40 minutes a game. So Brogdon, 32 minutes today. He he got 10 more, 11 more minutes than Derek White. Got a 38 burger. I play both of them. But um, if Marcus Smart's out, I think you play both of them again, guys. Uh, Mason Plumlee has been good. And I don't know what's up with the Clippers, but there's a lot of what ifs with the Clippers. There's only one player I got for you for the Clippers that I kind of really trust. But other than that, um, Mason Plumley, 5.4K, has been on fire, man. 36, 37, his last two. And he's done pretty decent against the Clippers 31, 18, 27. So at 5 4, I think it's a cheap play. You got Joel Embiid against Houston, against Sangoon. I know James Harden should be back, but. I mean, I think he's probably better with it with uh, Harden in there. So yeah, give me Embiid at eleven four. It's the matchup, guys. And Houston's known to keep games close too. So if it's a close game, you get you're giving me forty minutes of Joel Embiid, which he played last game. He told the coach, "I want more minutes," and the coach obliged. So he's playing 35, 40 minutes in a close game. He can definitely break a slate. But I love that Giannis has come down in price. So Giannis is now 11-9, and he gets a dream matchup against Orlando. Orlando plays no defense. 
we pick on Orlando. There's certain teams we pick on this year. Orlando's one of them. So and so Giannis at 11-9, I've got him over Embiid because of the matchup, but they're both firmly in play, man. Last time Giannis played Orlando, he got a 64. I mean, I'm not playing that. I'm not paying that price for Luca. I'm not gonna do it because you got to get an 80 to get that fucking uh, to pay that off. Otherwise, you're overpaying, guys. Brandon Clark, if Stephen Adams is out, I'm rolling right back here. I played him today; it worked out beautifully. Um, got 29 minutes, got 35 fantasy points. It's a tougher matchup against Miami, but I mean, they haven't been as tough against centers as they were in previous years. So, yeah, give me Brandon Clark at 37 if Stephen Adams is out. And same with the Hawks. So we'll see who they roll out there. Trey Young is back, though. Um, so, but I think like maybe AJ Griffin, Jarrett Culver, like if these guys start again, which one of these two starts tomorrow, that's who I'm going to play. 5K for Griffin, 4 2 for Culver. They did great. They did great. They actually won the game without their stars. And well, they had DeJounte Murray, but I mean, they're missing fucking everybody else. So, yeah. Give me, give me Culver and Griffin, whichever one starts, I'm in. Chris Middleton is 7-2. Um, played 26 minutes in his return. Got 32 DraftKings points. And again, it's the Orlando matchup. If we get word that Middleton's off a limit, like we're going to get at least 30 minutes, I'll pay the 7-2, probably at super low ownership. Um, and hopefully he gets 50 at 7-2 at low ownership. That's the type of shit that makes or breaks it, guys. And then James Harden at 9K. If there's no limit here, that's too cheap, I think. He was he was going off. He's been having a great year until he got hurt. 54, 35, and then he had a 72 against Houston. So, love James Harden here. It's a revenge game if you think about it. So, yeah, I like him at 9K. And then it looks like Tyrese Halliburton's going to be out. So, the only thing that I still worry about is the blowout, right? They're playing Golden State. Indy's trash as it is. No offense to Indy fans, but uh, they're just not very good at keeping games close. I'll put it nicely. So just be careful. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too much of these Indy guys, but I think Nesmith is one of the lower owned guys. I think you can get to. I think in a blowout situation too. I think he'll stay out there. He's only three six, so I like him. Twenty one, twenty four, nineteen in his last three. He'll probably get mid twenties minutes tomorrow. So, even in a blowout, I think he's in play. Um, also, is Andrew Nemhard, 4.2K. Probably will be very popular tomorrow, though. That's what I mean. But he's getting big minutes, 35, 37 minutes, 39, 37 DraftKings points. Yeah, he's firmly in play at 4-2. But I'm going to have some shares also of Nesmith. Sound like Aerosmith. Um, do look like a lady and all that shit because of the ownership, guys. And Dario Sarge, I mean, he continues to start at 3.3K. Um, Torrey Craig's out again. Yeah, you can roll him out there. 21 minutes in this first two games starting, 15 and a 25. So it's a decent matchup against Dallas. You got Tim Hardaway Jr. If he starts, if he continues to start, if Christian Wood's out, he'll probably get the start again at only 4.6. I mean, my goodness, is that cheap. 33, 44, 44. Son of a bitch is that cheap. 31, 40, and 27 minutes, man. And he's been shooting lights out. So love Hardaway, especially if he starts at 4-6. Clint Capella, 6-4, because guess what? He's been rebounding like crazy. It seems like he's getting 20 rebounds a game. And he gets OKC. OKC has been giving it up to centers like my baby's mama gives it up to everybody. So... Love Clint Capella at 6'4", especially if they're going to be shorthanded with no John Collins, um, no Hunter. So, yeah, he'll get his, he'll get all the rebounds he wants. And even Bogdan Bogdanovic here at 4'7", if they up his minutes too, like this 8 he got, I think it was rusty. I think it was rust. I think way too cheap. Bogdanovic, you guys remember, he's in that 6K range or higher when he's fully healthy. So, if his minutes get bumped up, it's against OKC. So I'll take the low ownership and throw his ass in there at only 4'7". Buddy Heald, 5'8". Again, with no Halliburton, we saw what happened, man. 37 and a 47. So 37 minutes, 
even kind of a blowout. Indy was getting their ass whooped to Portland, and he still played 37 minutes. Buddy Heald will play a bunch of minutes um, and got a 47. Granted, not the most consistent guy out there right now, right? Before that, at 8, 25, 22, 23. But he's very streaky. Very streaky. So I like him at 5, 8. If Hal, since Hal Burton's out, yeah. Jalen Brown at 8, 4. Like, how do you not play this guy at this point? 66, 64. Mr. 60 Burger, man. It's a tougher matchup against Toronto, but if Marcus Smart's out again, um, I'll, I'll save the money, go him over Tatum. Right now, they're having just about the same ceiling. Jaden Brown's been outscoring Tatum. So, and then Drew Holiday, seven four. The restrictions off, right? He played thirty four and thirty nine minutes. Again, it's the matchup, guys. Seven four, fifty three, and a forty six in his last two. Expect another fifty burger against Orlando. If Middleton, especially, is going to be restricted, like Drew, last time he played Orlando, he got that fifty two. So. 52-41. I love Milwaukee. I love the studs of Milwaukee on this slate. I think they're going to break it. Josh Giddy's been great. Josh Giddy's been better than Shea lately, man. I don't know what it is. Maybe he found his, his groove. I don't know. But he's only 7.5K, 56-45 in his last two. Over 30 minutes a game. Last time he played Atlanta, he got a 40. So anybody in a 7K range, a 40 will do. You're not overpaying. You're perfectly fine. Um, and then the Clippers, man, everybody's questionable. Uh, Paul George to Kawhi to everybody, right? Terrence Mann's been solid at 5K. Norman Powell's going to be out, and that's already been confirmed. So if Terrence Mann gets a start at 5K, I'm playing him. Hopefully you get 30 minutes out of him. It's against Charlotte, too. So this game should be competitive. I think if there's no Paul George, I think this game will be very competitive. So. Keep spots open for these Clippers guys. And, uh, yeah, guys, so that's going to do it. 21 watch players. That's my core night before. And uh, let me ask you something. Let me ask you. Are you tired of taking the fucking bus? Are you tired of living in poverty? Are you tired of walking by pretty girls or ladies? Are you tired of walking by tall, dark, and handsome men? And they just walk on by. They don't look at you. You want to become winners. You want to become rich. You want to become like Schroeder and I. Come join the DFS club, guys. DFSclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. So Schroeder and I get credit and then pick your plans now, guys. I'm on a heater like you wouldn't fucking believe. And I'm showing you guys every single night what we're doing in here. Um, take advantage because in nine hours, these deals are gone. $9 a month. A lot of people are paying up for gold and for the six month and the yearly. Cause I mean, the more you pay up, the more you save, you get a yearly, it's like seven, it's like $6 and 50 cents a month. So that's my crazy, stupid math, but thank you so much again, guys hit that subscribe button. You guys killed it over the weekend. Um, got more subscribers. That's good. Uh, leave a comment. I will catch up to the comments. I promise you it's on the list. Um, and uh, make sure you hit that like button because YouTube loves the algorithms, man. It's all about the al algorithms. Like, dislike, I don't care. Anyone will do. And uh, super thanks is you want to throw a couple dollars in the tip jar for this guy. I mean, look at this. Look at this belly, Jan. Look at this belly catcher, Julio. This is all from you guys. Yeah, you're spoiling Schroeder. Um, it goes towards a fancy feast. And the channel, guys. So thank you all so much. We're going to celebrate this takedown. Schroeder and I are going to open up the fucking real French champagne. Get out of these alligator skin shoes. And uh, we're going to celebrate, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. And son of a bitch. We're out, y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.